Welcome to this video where I'll be showing how to make the classic marguerite style daisy. So this is my uh, Katie Sue Flower Pro design. Um, this is the ultimate sunflower and daisy mold. And this incredible mold will enable you to make two sizes of sunflowers, plus also Gerber daisies and classic daisies, which I'm now going to show in this segment. I will be using uh, this part of the mold, which is going to make the daisy center. I'll be using this part, which will make the full daisy. And then I will be using this to make the buds. And then finally this part here to make the calyx. So let's get started. So when we make daisies, um, we're going to be using, first of all, some 22 gauge wire. This is green or white wire, it doesn't matter. I'm going to use some half width floral tape. So this is full width tape cut in half. I'm going to create a floral tape bud, like shown on many of my YouTube tutorials. Uh, just stretch your tape you know, around the end of the wire. Okay, get started and go one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to take a pair of pliers and with a pair of pliers, we'll make a fairly small compact hook, meaning the hook doesn't want to be too long, okay? Because uh, ultimately this center part wants to be quite compact. So five times hook, then one, two, three, four, five, and then continue down the wire. So I said 22 gauge white or green wire, come about two thirds of the way down. I'm going to use just straight yellow paste, all right? So this is the flower modeling paste just in bright yellow. Of course, daisy centers do vary. And of course, some varieties of daisy have creamy yellow color centers. You could even do this in brown, a little bit like a black eye Susan or coneflower type of daisy. So I'm going to take a, here is gonna be a number six size ball of paste in the bright yellow. And just gonna take this, so this will be a number six size. So this will go one third below two thirds above. We're just going to condition this paste. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this paste. Sometimes we put the paste in the mold. Um, like when I do the bud, I'll actually put the paste in the mold and then put the wire in. I want to do hydrangeas and things like that from my filler flower. But here I'm actually going to put the paste onto the floral tape buds. Just a little touch of egg white, not too much. And you're going to push this into the ball of paste until the floral tape bud just disappears and you're gonna mold around the bottom, okay? I'm just gonna extend that a little bit because we don't want the wire to come right to the end here. I'm gonna make like a balloon shape. Now we're gonna take the daisy bud mold and uh, the center mold here, this is the center mold. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just sort of push the paste into there and then with my fingers, I'm gonna to push to the perimeter. Now it's really important because this mold is designed with a very realistic edge, just make sure that you don't come past the edge of the uh, mold because you want that nice natural edge. So I'm actually just pushing in here with my rounded ball tool end of my companion tool just to make sure that you get this nice natural end, okay? So just gonna push that in gently and then gonna pull that out of the mold and you see how you have this beautiful center. But you see how you get this nice uh, edge. It doesn't look too symmetrical, okay? So that, and then just gonna mold the back a little bit. So just mold the back round here. And then you need this to dry for about two to three hours, or again, in a food dehydrator, one hour on 115 will be fine. So we're gonna put that into, um, as I said, put that into your styrofoam block and let that dry. The next step is going to be doing the uh, daisy petals. So when I come back, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So for making the daisy petals, I'm going to use this part of the mold. And uh, we're actually going to, when you make daisies, you can do single daisies, which means it has one layer of petals or double. I'm gonna show you a double. So what we do here is gonna take a number nine small uh, ball of paste, all right? So that's gonna be a number nine that goes through the hole. If you've watched my small sunflower um, demonstration video, uh, you'll see how I use this for the secondary calyx on the sunflower. I'm gonna condition this. Now this paste is my normal formula. I'm using here the Renshaw uh, flower and modeling paste. And what I've actually done there is I've added, taken 85 grams of this and 15 grams of sugar paste or rolled fondant. Because if you use the yellow, it's just straight paste, but it's a little tighter. And because we have to press this in the mold and skim it off, you don't want the paste to be too dry. So we're gonna take just a little tiny bit of vegetable shortening, release and put into the mold. Gonna take your paste here and I just put a little touch of corn flour, corn starch onto it. Gonna flatten it out like a hamburger. Okay, and just gonna pop that into the mold. And then what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna use my cosmetic sponge. I'm gonna just press that down lightly. 
And I'm actually going to use the back of the vena, all right? So this is actually going to be used for the back of the pedals on all the pedals. So I'm going to press, press this into the mold here. All right, so what that does, it just helps to sort of flatten it out. And then you're going to just finish this off with your cosmetic sponge, okay? So I'm just going to just finish this off with the cosmetic sponge here. All right, just make sure you get that sort of fairly level here, like so. And then we're going to skim off, so I'm going to use my little small scraper here. Now you need to hold this fairly flat, and you're just going to just skim off. So you're just cutting the, just make sure your paste comes all the way to the edge here. Just going to just trim off your edge of your daisy petals, all right? But just remember, this technique of adding a little bit of sugar paste or rolled fondant to your paste is especially if you're working with a paste that seems a little bit tight because when you're working into molds and especially what I'm doing here um, if your paste is too tight it won't sort of stretch in the mold now just going to then just press this in to flatten it so you see how I've actually come to the edge of the mold here now I'm going to take my back veiner and then what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do this in three sections so I'm just going to press this on I'm going to go around, going to press this on. So this will actually vein the back of the pedals. And this will be the last part there, which is just going to press in here. So you see how it actually gives you your veining onto your back of your pedals as well. We're just going to flex your mold. And with your mold here, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flex this back. Because we have a little bit of vegetable shortening into here, this will come out from the mold like this. Now, with the daisy, all right, this is the only uh, flower that I do this on out of this collection. I'm going to just use the little uh, needle tool end of the companion tool and I'm just going to come down about literally about three to four millimeters. So I'm just separating the petals just slightly because when you're using uh, a mold like this you're going to get a little bit of fuse in where the petals fuse together and on the Gerber Daisy and the Sunflower that's not doesn't matter but just to give your flower a nice shape okay. We're then going to take this going to pop this onto cosmetic sponge then using your needle tool end of your we're just going to just work the very tip of each of the petals now some daisy varieties are more round so if you're doing more of a round petal daisy just leave it as is all right but some of them are a little bit more pointed like the marguerite daisy now once you've made your first one okay that will need to go into a plastic bag so i've got one already made here all right, so you've got one, so you put one of them into a bag, and usually if you have a piece of fun foam or wax paper or cardboard, it makes it easier to slide in. And then what you're going to do is once you get the second one done, you're going to build this on cosmetic sponge hole. And what I'm going to do here is going to place this on, I'm going to lift up my, put some egg white around the center part of this, like this. And then I'm going to lift this up. Now, um, if you're making a single daisy, all right, if you're doing a single variety daisy, which I'm going to show you here, a pink variety here, you see this has just got one layer of petals. All I'm going to do there is just going to cup this, and then uh, once you cup the center of that, you just thread a little bit of egg white around the yellow and pull it down. When you're doing a double daisy, which is what I'm showing you here, you're going to put the egg white on one half, you're going to lift this up, and usually what I do is just lift this up on my companion tool and then you're just going to align that so it goes in between those petals. So you see you just align it so that sits in between the petals. I'm going to use a balling tool here. All right, so I'm actually going to use this uh, large balling tool here. I'm going to press that into the middle because that's about comparable with the size of the top of the daisy head. So you want a ball tool that's about comparable to the size of the top of the head. And then you're going to take, so whether you're doing a single layer or a double layer, same technique, except as I said, obviously the double layer, you stick these together. So a little bit of egg white goes around your base, just to the very bottom here. And you're then going to thread this down through the, through the middle here, like so. You're going to pull this down and you just pull this until this sits into the center. Okay. All right. So you're just going to pull that down and set that into the center. Now, um, when I make daisies, what I found works really well is just to make a little former. So this is just a just a single piece of aluminum foil, food service foil. So this is about seven centimeters, all right? So it's about you know two and three quarter inches. And then what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to use, here this is a small ball here, this is about a 15 
uh, sorry, about a 20 millimeter, about a three quarter inch size ball. Now, an alternative is also to use the um, la extra large size of the jumbo balling tool. Remember, we call this the extra large and this the extra extra large, because you can see that is a comparable size ball, okay? So you can either form the foil over the end of the tool here, like this, all right? Or you can do that over your little half ball like this. So all of the flowers actually shown from this mold, the sunflower, the small sunflower, the Gerber daisy, and now the daisy are all made with a former, but using different size little balls, okay? So you're gonna make a little hollow here. You're gonna make a hole in there with a toothpick. All right. And then what you're gonna do, then you're gonna just take your daisy. You can of course have these pre-made. Take your daisy, you're gonna slide the daisy through here like this and then you can either put this on the top of a drying rack or you can just take a paper clip and just put a paper clip on the bottom of the wire that's a really cool way and easy way to assemble that now usually with the daisies you don't have to uh, use any foam on these all right but what you can also do is you can just like hang this upside down for a few minutes so the inside petals you see will almost like sort of hang upside down and then you can uh, stand it up so this will then obviously uh, dry the uh, so you get this nice shape so but as it normally I don't use any sponge on here I'm just going to create the layer of the petals now when you are doing the single one exactly the same so this is obviously the single daisy here uh, exactly the same dried in the former all right and of course you could do these in all different colors it's really fun and then another use of the daisy is to do unwired daisy so for example for cupcakes for craft application on frames on cards so all i did there is when you make the daisy you just press a number five size ball of paste into the mold so that will fill it level you take that out and you then just make a single or a double daisy hollow it and then you just attach that into the middle with um, a little bit of uh, egg white some super bond or as i said glue for craft application and you have a beautiful as i said marguerite daisy there which you could use in all different craft application um, so that's how you would make the how we would make the um, the daisies um, so once we've made the daisies, the next step is going to make the uh, buds. So I'll be right back to show you how to make the buds. So now we're gonna move on to make the buds. Now the buds we're gonna use exactly the same as the flower, all right, we're gonna use, but this is a 24 gauge wire. So for the buds we use 24 gauge wire, and then we're gonna go around five times, hook five times to make the uh, large bud, all right? So that's five times hook times, sorry. So it's exactly the same as the flower, except it's on a slightly softer wire. Remember, the higher the number, the softer the wire will be. So then we're gonna take your, um, white paste here so we're going to use a uh, number seven small ball of paste for the for the large bud so i've already pre-measured this so this is going to be a number seven small that means that that is going to just go through the number seven hole this will be made in whatever color the flower is going to be made in so pink yellow there's a lovely thing about daisies you can make these in orange and all different colors in the autumn fall time you could do like sunflower colors and it's a perfect complement with the sunflowers or with the Gerber daisies. So we're just gonna just make this ball of paste. Here we're gonna use this very similar to like in my ultimate filler flowers like the hydrangea. Put a little bit of corn flour, corn starch onto this and you're gonna take the cavity and you just pop that into the cavity, just press it in with your finger. I'm just gonna press it in just slightly with the end of the ball in tool. Okay, you're gonna take your wire here I'm gonna put a little bit of egg white onto your floral tape bud. You're gonna push this into, just push it so it just disappears into the paste. And then what you do is you're just gonna flex the mold like this. So you just flex it one way and the other way. Just gonna mold it round the back. And when we remove this from the mold, voila, you get an incredible uh, bud for your daisies. Now these buds could be also made in very, very pale green, like the color I showed the hydrangea, nicotiana, and some of the other things. And you can use these for love in a mist buds. The nigella love in a mist is it has a very similar bud to this. So that's how you would make the daisy bud. And then when you make the small daisy buds, okay, so when we make the small daisy buds, what we do there is we're going to use um, same wire, 24 gauge wire, but I've just made this three times hook times three. So the floral tape bud is just a little bit smaller. So three times hook times three. So here I'm gonna take a number six size. So this is just a regular number six size. So one third below, two thirds above. 
So what this is going to do is it's going to make a smaller version of the bud, but in the same mold. So you're just going to drop that in. Again, just going to press that in gently. Little bit of glue onto there. Put that into the mold. And then again, you're just going to just make sure that sort of stands up and then just flex the mold around the back like that. And you see when this comes out, this is going to give you a smaller version and you just mold this around the back like that. All right, so you see how you have the two sizes of buds. So you have the number uh, seven small and then number six, so you get a slightly larger and smaller bud. So the buds and flowers would need to dry, okay? And then once they're dry, we're going to move on to the calyx, which will be the next step coming up real soon. So now going on to the calyx, so we're going to use the little small cavity here for that. Now, in my, um, in volume one, in book number one, when uh, we did book number one, I actually showed uh, on the Bavardia, so on uh, book number one, we showed on the Bavardia using a daisy cutter. And this is actually the same uh, calyx size as the daisy calyx here. So if you don't have a daisy cutter and you're making Bavardia, you could just use exactly the same technique as I'm doing here uh, with a number six size ball of paste and then you uh, six small size ball of paste and then you just will cut it into quarters. And that would be what we use for the Bavardia. So when you watch the videos, uh, because obviously this is a brand new, um, a brand new mold. And, uh, you know, the whole idea with uh, Flower Pro is not also to uh, not only to sort of uh, be able to make flowers uh, less less expensive as far as labor goes, because you can do flowers, most flowers in half the time with using cutters and veiners, but also your investment in uh, financial investment as well, because you don't have to buy cutters and veiners. Everything is done in the mold. So you're going to take here. This is a number six uh, small size ball of paste. All right. So number six small. So that means that goes through the number six hole. All right, so just gonna go through. So it's gonna go through the number six hole there, okay? And then you're going to, again, we take a little tiny bit of vegetable, shortening fat, white fat. The reason is when we have these shallow molds, if you've watched my, for example, like rose one, it's the same thing. So you're just gonna flatten that out with your finger and then just push this into the mold here. But what it does, the vegetable fat um, or shortening, what it actually does, it helps to hold it stay in the mold because this is very shallow, um, actually the shallowest of all the molds on here. And so if you just use corn flour, a lot of times it would move. And then you're going to skim this off. And when you skim this off, you're just going to do this in two, two sections because you've got four and four. So you're just going to go across like this and using a skimming action. And remember, you can also do this with a small little knife like this. This can also be used to skim off as well. Okay. So you're just going to press that in with your cosmetic sponge. That always levels out. So that's usually the final touch with a lot of things. I'm going to take this off of the mold here. I'm going to pop this onto cosmetic sponge here. And then I'm going to take my veining tool on my companion tool. Remember I said this is part of the filler flower mold. It's also sold separately with the small little mini pad. All right, so these do come together as a little kit as well. This is a great addition to your flower making regime. And then you're actually going to use the ball in tool end of that. Just going to cup it. I'm going to take a little bit of egg white. And then what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to brush egg white all over the inside because this is a fitted calyx. All right. So a little bit like uh, some of the filler flower calyxes, it's fitted. So you're going to take your daisy out of here. All right. So this is a daisy that's dry. And so you just slide the foil down, okay? And then all we're gonna do then, just gonna thread this through the middle, go through the hole, and this is just gonna come up to the back and be popped on like that. How easy is that? All right, to make a fabulous daisy with Flower Pro is so easy, okay? And um, so that's the daisy flower. And then if you're doing, just to show you a bud, I've got one here already um, in a little bag. But usually I just make them as, as I go, you know, so just make them as you go. So this one I just need to cup. So just going to cup the middle. And then you're just going to put some glue onto this on the inside of it. And then you're just going to just take your bud. So dry one here. And you're just going to build up your daisy. And you're just going to use your, see your cosmetic sponge, you're going to use that. 
Again, such an easy way to get that on. And when you do the small one, it would be exactly the same technique, all right? So that's how you would do your daisies. And remember, you can also, with making sugar flowers like this, for example, you could stockpile, you can make lots of daisy centers, and then, of course, then you can just uh, have those dry, and then whenever you do daisies, you can just get your dry centers out, then move straight on to the next stage, depending on what color your customer or client wants. Um, and, uh, of course, you know, you could also, of course, make white buds, have those ready. So these are things you can pre prepare in advance, just like on the calendar, you can make your calorie centers, have those ready dry. Um, so when I come back, I'm going to show you how we color this and uh, then how we finish off the daisy. So I'll see you soon. So now we're going to move on to the coloring of the daisy. So I'm showing the classic marguerite daisy. Um, so I'm going to use the super pearl, like a pearl dust. This is just like a white pearl dust. So obviously it's a little bit like a sort of an eyeshadow, just a pearlescent white. And I'm going to use that to brush over, just gently over the surface of the petals. Because this flower will be uh, steamed and this will give it a waxy look, just a little bit like Stephanotis that I did in my filler flower mold. So we're going to also just do a little bit of the pearl dust onto here. You know, some pearl dust is a little bit sort of more shiny than others. So if you do have one that looks too shiny, what I would just do is just cut it with some cornflour cornstarch. So you use like half pearl and half cornstarch or cornflour. This is just straight out of the pot. Um, so anyway, we're going to do that and we'll do that also on the, the buds as well. So you're going to do that on all the, the white part of the daisy. Okay, so we finish with that. Now we're going to take a pale, uh, this is a, a pale light um, apple green color, same color I used for the hydrangea and the cali. So I'm going to just use a little bit of that just on the white part at the base of the, where the calyx meets the buds. I'm going to use a little bit of that. So you just get that sort of soft greeny color coming up the side. And on the flower, now you're going to rub to get the excess powder off. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go around the, the yellow. So I'm just going to use this brush, but there said be very, very little green on it. So I'm just going to just go around and around and around. So you see how you're going to get this lovely subtle green, okay, uh, onto there. Then we're going to take some yellow. Um, this is a color called Harrison's yellow, which is like a golden yellow color. You could even use like the sunflower color. This is just a little bit more yellow. And... Um, we're going to again remove the excess dust because we don't want to get the yellow dust onto the petals. And you're just going to just brush this over the top. So what this will do, this will just sort of highlight, accentuate the texture on the center of the daisy. Okay. And then finally, we're going to use a little bit of prairie green, which is a soft green I've used on quite a lot of my videos here. So just on the flower, we're going to use that on the where the calyx meets here. And then I will also, on the buds, so just a little bit of that there, I will also on the buds just uh, put a little bit of that, basically just almost like on top of the light green. So you just get that paler green, so just right between the calyxes, just going to just dust a little bit of that prairie green color, okay? So those, that will be the coloring onto there. If you were doing the, um, the daisies without the, um, without the wire in them, you can just worry about the top. So just to pearl dust, the pale green and the yellow. There's no need to worry about the back of the daisy because if that was attached to a cupcake or whatever, but you could also put, of course, pearl dust on the back if you wish to. So we're just going to just move my flowers out of the way. Now, when you assemble daisies, there's a, uh, Different, obviously, assemblies you can do for daisies and things. So we're going to take some half-width floral tape. So we're going to take a little bit of half-width floral tape. I'm going to use a 22-gauge wire. And I'm going to start off with one of my smaller buds. Okay. And then I'm going to take a larger bud here. So I'm just going to sort of stagger those. And then I'm going to add one of my small leaves. Now, remember, the leaves are on a separate um, video. So that comes with the... Uh, Sunflower and daisy leaves are on the same mold. So you're just going to just attach the daisy leaves to go with here. And this really just finishes off the daisy very nicely. And so I'm just going to have my daisy leaves there. Just going to take down just a little ways. Then going to put in another leaf. So I'm going to put in a large leaf here. And at that point there, so a little bit down the stem, I'm going to add a 22 gauge wire. This is just going to give a little bit of strength to the main stem and of course just help to extend the length of this. 
I'm going to use these two daisies uh, on a, a two daisy sprays with the Gerber daisy onto a cake. And uh, so then I'm going to take my daisy. And when you put your daisy in, typically what I'll do is I'll just bend the daisy up a little bit. So about two centimeters down, I'll just bring this up a little bit. So it just sort of sits at a, so it just comes to the side here like so, okay? And it's going to take this down. And then once we've taken this down, I'm going to add then the next leaf, which will sort of sit at the side here like so. So I have, this is actually a slightly shorter, and then I have a longer stem, which I'm going to bring into camera now to show you, which is going to have the, uh, will be the top spray. But of course, you know, this depends on what, whether you're going to just use daisies on a cake or whether you're going to add that with other pieces. But here you have the smaller daisy spray and here we have a larger daisy spray. But you see, really beautiful and they're going to be used uh, in an arrangement. So I'm going to actually be having these curved and they're actually going to sit like this with the Gerber daisy in the middle. All right, so you create this really beautiful, sort of almost like a sort of a garland wreath effect. So here you have your daisies. So a beautiful um, flower created with ease with Flower Pro. This, remember, is the ultimate sunflower and daisy mold I'm using. And I hope you'll have a lot of fun with that. We look forward to seeing your post on our social media, on our Facebook group, the Flower Pro Facebook group, of all the different creations you've created using the daisies. Because remember, these work perfect with roses, with peonies, all different flowers. So until next time, sweet wishes. This has been Nicholas Lodge. See you real soon.